Ethereum's price action has been firmly tracking that of Bitcoin's in recent times, although it has not been able to put as much distance between its recent lows as BTC has. ETH's bearishness against BTC has come about as investors grow increasingly concerned about the hundreds of thousands of tokens currently held by a ring of scammers. This has called into question whether or not Ethereum will ever be able to post a long-term recovery with these sellers continuing to place insurmountable selling pressure on the cryptocurrency. At the time of writing, Ethereum is trading down over 2% at its current price of $129, which marks a notable decline from its daily highs of $132 that were set earlier this morning when bulls attempted to spark some upwards momentum. This past weekend, ETH's bulls were able to push the cryptocurrency up to highs of $135 concurrently with Bitcoin's surge to $7,600, although this upwards momentum was short-lived and followed by a significant influx of selling pressure. Analysts don't expect Ethereum to incur bullish price action that mirrors that of Bitcoin and other major altcoins in the near term, which is largely due to the massive amount of ETH tokens currently held by the ringleaders of the defunct PLUS token Ponzi scheme. Su Zhu, the CEO at Three Arrows Capital, explained in a recent tweet that the ringleaders of this scam could theoretically use their massive ETH holdings to manipulate Ethereum forever. Yesterday, Gainsey, a popular cryptocurrency analyst on Twitter, explained in a tweet that ETH inflows into Huobi were positive by 100k tokens from PLUS token, which is an occurrence that is likely to become regular as they continue dumping their $100 million worth of stolen tokens. It is probable that this selling pressure will ramp up if Ethereum and the aggregated crypto markets find themselves caught within a bull market, which may mean that ETH will struggle to match the gains seen by other cryptocurrencies during the next uptrend.